All right, here's a video of my other hobby, guns, specifically AK-47s. It was my last project. Finally completed, got that muzzle brake permanently attached. Has the ace front sight clamp on. How does that furniture comes and goes? Got a bunch of different stocks, four grips for it, and not sure what I'm gonna keep on this gun. Another thing I've done to it is. Put Yugoslavian tritium for sight. And I bought, oh, I forgot what brand, but whatever it is, it was like 50 bucks. Um, name brand glow in the dark front sight. Of course, single point, that's how I did it. I kind of redid the paint on it. There's that one. This one, built from a parts kit. Didn't do any refinishing on it. I like the way the parts kit looked, all worn. It's just a stock Romanian, made in. 1986 the receiver I didn't build guy out of a Mexico Missouri citizens armory same as Darren built it did a pretty good job again I didn't want to refinish it I like the the worn look on AKs This was a parts kit built. Bought a bunch of parts kits. Oh, back in 2005 when they were cheap. So uh, this gun cost me less than a hundred bucks to build. Here is my favorite Yugoslavian M70. This is another parts kit build. So if you wonder why it's finished all worn out because that's how they uh, used them in the former Yugoslavia during the Balkan Wars it's all matching except for the US made receiver this is a home built gun but it was easier just to buy a registered receiver or not say registered but someone else's receiver again this is sensory receiver. So, got interrupted with a phone call. Wrong number. Again, uh, where was I? This gun made in 1984. Well, it was made by me, uh, 2011. But, uh, most of it was made in 1984. Okay, it's all matching. Uh, another parts kit. Bought a few Yugoslavian parts kits. Uh, this one best condition uh, It has the flip up They're not tritium. They are the uh, glow-in-dark paint That needs I need to put more paint on it find some Good glow-in-the-dark paint. Sorry for my camera quality For anyone that's not really into guns some special things about the Yugo that cuts the gas off and is your site for launching rifle grenades basically you replace the muzzle brake with a, a spigot put your grenade on it flip this up put a blank cartridge in there and you see ability to launch anti-personnel and I think even they got anti-tank 
rifle grenades. But that's my favorite. Smoothest action compared to every other AK I have. No, no hang up, no nothing. Now this one, I didn't build. It was a purchase. Well, it was a trade. I had a bunch of leftover AK parts, traded for it. So it costed me the cost of the parts, basically, and I think I gave the guy uh, 150 or something like that bucks with it. But the parts I bought back when they were cheap and really cheap. So I didn't come near as much as what I would have to search around and buy one for now. This is a Bulgarian AK-74. Shoots a different cartridge than the other ones. It's from a parts kit too that someone else built, a company. And the parts look brand new, unissued. Uh, this is another favorite. Mainly because the ammunition for it's so cheap. And ammunition is basically the Russian equivalent to 223. This one was made by Waffen Works out of Knoxville, Tennessee. It's on a uh, Nodex Spud receiver. This action is pretty smooth too. I suppose the Yugo. I didn't have any more special features other than that muzzle brake. I ended up putting a key ring here to because that is a pain to get out with the muzzle brake attached. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. Nothing real special. The finish work was really, really good. I mean, better than a lot of AKs I've seen. I mean, I've shot a lot. I've got over 2,000 rounds right now for it. I probably shot 7, 800. It ejects strongly. Strongly ejects. Alright. Here's what the gun, most of my guns look like when I got them back in. 03, 05 ish. Basically, this is a parts kit. Granted, this parts kit has a US made foregrip here. Uh, it originally looked exact, that parts kit, exactly the same. I got the wood pieces for this one. I just didn't want to swap them out just for this video. Then you got your bag of parts, your selector, uh, it comes with the full auto parts, they're not in this bag right now, I got them, um, not sure where I got them, but the receivers aren't full auto, so I don't intend on even trying to make one for anyone that's wanting to go run to the ATF, possession's not illegal especially whenever you don't have the means to make it but uh, building one of these in a semi-auto configuration is legal uh, that's why the US made parts US made US made I don't have the US made trigger group but you buy US made trigger group that counts as three US made parts uh, all my trigger groups that are US made are in these guns. So, this kit, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. <laughs> Build another one. I already got that configuration. I already got tactical configuration. Really don't need another one. I got parts to put on another tactical gun, but I think that one's good. Uh, different caliber. Definitely going to keep that like it is. It's got a lot of history to it. <laughs> Uh, again, this one might sell, might trade, do something with. It's a good kit, made in 1974.
Romanian again. Again, this is the finish wear. I like it when you're putting the original stuff on. Uh, these are all matching too. Here's another kit I have left. It's another Yugoslavian. And it's got actually the finish is better than that one. However, it's not matching. Numbers don't match and actually it's not a complete kit. I uh ordered a bunch of these. This has a tritium night sights. It's basically the rear sight I took off or put on that one came from one of these because again I had a bunch of these parts I had a bunch of these barrel ends that's why I traded for that guy uh, this is the under folder um, I'd like to have an under folder but you know I already got four and uh, short on cash right now to get the uh, compliant parts and all and uh, I'll need to get a bolt carrier group uh, obviously the receiver the uh, trigger group uh, some other US made parts put on this uh, if I want to keep it looking original I'll have to use US made magazines since I don't have an option of putting a uh, US made buttstock on it. So these are my parts kits I have left to be built someday. There's an old bass hound, very old. He's not doing too good down nowadays. <laughs> but uh yeah that Yugo right there would be nice to be able to build someday. We'll see. Alright Here's the collection again before I sign off. I think I've had my fix of uh, these guns. I don't need to buy any more. The only thing I think I need to buy is uh, accessories. And I'm not talking about the stupid ass accessories. Like that's on that gun. Even though that gun's not as bad as some people's. That's practical. I mean the muzzle brake, Tames recoil. Front sight. Well, I wanted more compact, so you got to take the front sight like that off, move it back, put a night sight on it. Uh, night sights are practical when you're shooting at night, and I do shoot at night, so that doesn't make it impractical. Fore grip, man, eh, it helps a little bit, it, but not, you know, shooting from a grip like that, I don't have a problem with. The only accessories I'm talking about is getting, I told you about the uh, grenade launching spigot. That's only about 15 bucks, so I'm gonna get that. Uh, a proper sling for each of these rifles that is actually made for it. I mean, that sling's made for an AK, but it's made for that style AK. That sling's made for an AK, but it's an East German Royal Air Force or something weird sling. That's why it's blue. Um, that sling works since it's a uh, butchered AK. This sling, I want to get an actual Yugoslavian sling for it, uh, which varies from that sling because uh, there's a sling loop. It takes more of a buckle than a hook. Uh, want a Bulgarian bayonet for that one. Bayonets for the Bulgarians are different. Pretty cool looking. I uh, want a Bulgarian sling for that. One of the Yugo bayonet for that. That one I bought before uh, they lifted the uh, assault weapons ban, so the bayonet lug isn't on it. So uh, don't need a bayonet for that. I already have a couple Romanian style bayonets that will fit that one. The Romanian will fit that one too, but I want it proper. So, anyways. Sorry for my camera work. This is the longest video I've done. And it's about guns. My other video is usually about AKs. But if you like guns and scratch that, my other videos are usually about arrowheads. Voila. There. I still haven't done a full collection uh, video. I tried uploading one, but it wouldn't let me. So uh, I forgot about it. But 
I did the uh, reality video with those guys but here's most of my collection so if you like this subscribe I'll put more up the more scrubs I get and more frequently and with uh, some shooting these uh, hopefully I'll have someone to help me uh, video so you can watch them be shot and the quality hopefully will improve thanks